Vortex is an area clearance and rest area clearance technique that can be used for two axis, three axis and three plus two axis roughing. Vortex is a high performance roughing technique that allows us to run with much deeper cuts and much faster than we would with traditional roughing techniques. The reason we're able to do this is because Vortex controls the engagement of the tool at all times throughout the entire length of the toolpath. So the calculated engagement for the programmed step over of the tool is never exceeded throughout the tool the, the entire length of the toolpath. This means that the tool is never overloaded at any time so there is no risk of uh, premature failure of the tool. Because of uh, this controlled engagement technique it allows us to run the tool at its maximum performance. Typically uh, the engagement angle increases significantly when the tool is moving into the corner of a pocket. Vortex gets around this uh, excessive engagement by introducing a trochoidal type motion to gradually pick away at the material until the corner is cleared away. At no time during this trochoidal motion is the engagement angle exceeded beyond the programmed step over. Let's have a look at how we create a vortex area clearance toolpath within the software. So vortex can be used as mentioned for 2 to 2.5D machining. So if we open the curve area clearance we can see under the style we have the new vortex option. and we also have Vortex available for 3D model area clearance and again here we can see along with the raster offset model offset all we have the Vortex style. There is the addition of the Vortex options here we have three parameters minimum radius minimum point spacing and lift on air moves Minimum radius is the minimum radius of the trochoids that are introduced to control the engagement and minimum point spacing is the space between the points in the toolpath. Now these two values are defined as an expression and they will change based upon the feed rate. If we come to our feed rate form, our speeds and feeds form, and I increase my feed per tooth to say 0.3 you'll notice the feed rate has increased to 3502 if I accept that you'll notice my minimum radius has also increased so these are linked to the feed rate and finally the last parameter lift on air moves this lifts the tool in Z slightly on the back end of the trochoid so this is the return of the trochoid uh, where it's not actually taking a cut. Now because um, Vortex is a high performance roughing technique and allows us to run the tool at its maximum cutting parameters and typically we're going to be using um, step downs of in the region of two to three times the tool diameter. In this example I've chosen a step down of 24 millimeters for a 12 millimeter diameter tool so that's two times D and a step over of 20 percent of the tool diameter of 2.4 millimeters. Because of this large step down Vortex is often used with the step cutting technique to remove the large step downs by working its way back up the part in smaller increments, in this case 2 millimeter increments. So let's go ahead and calculate that toolpath and just have a look at the actual style of the toolpath. Okay, so there we have the completed Vortex toolpath. 
if we just take a look from above zoom in switch off our machine tool for a second so we can see the toolpath looks quite different or dramatically different to a conventional offset roughing toolpath there are some um, similarities you can see if we zoom in on one of the pockets you can see we have the offset technique which is our step over but then interspersed within this offset technique we have the trochoidal motion that vortex introduces to control the engagement angle 